Welcome everybody, this is Silvano, speaking from Toulouse. You are watching a tool demonstration for MCC, a command line application that can unfold colored petri nets into plain, uncolored ones. This demonstration contains three main parts, with a beginner level introduction to the tool, followed by a description of the most specialized options. We do not elaborate on how we unfold colored nets. You will find some information about that on the conference paper and the accompanying video. So let's start with a very quick introduction to the tool and for all information you can of course go and visit the GitHub's page for MCC. MCC is easy to install. The tool accepts PNML file containing the description of high-level symmetric nets such as those used for the model checking contest. You can then call MCC to transform files into a plain PTNet. Transformation can be quite fast. We show here the result on a model that generates more than 2 million spaces. MCC was developed with the goal to be open and easily extensible. We provide many other options to generate outputs on other formats. You can add your own format and join the MCC. We follow with a beginner tutorial. We should start by taking a closer look at the input and output formats of our tool. You can find some examples of PNML files in the distribution of MCC. We see that the input language for MCC are PNML files, a standardized XML language with a specific type of symmetric net. MCC uses the notion of subcommands to specify the output format. One of these commands is to output nets in the TINA format. Each command has its own set of options. For instance, we can redirect the results to the standard output. We also provide subcommands for generating models that can be used by the LOLA model checker. Intuitively, all it takes to add a new generator is to add a library for printing a graph-like structure, a plus transition net, into a file. The source code of MCC is structured to simplify the addition of new output formats. For instance, we can also output a PNML version of the unfolded PetriNet. This covers the most basic function of MCC and concludes our beginner level introduction. Thank you for our time. We conclude with a presentation of the most advanced options in our tool. In this lesson, we should concentrate on the command called HLNet, which is also used to generate TINA output, but provide more flexible options. We can look at the output of MCC and gain some knowledge about the original colored model. But, most often than not, we want to understand the original colored model and also have some traceability information between the input and the output models. To this end, we provide an option called debug that displays the result of parsing a PNL file. We can open this debugging information inside the graphical editor provided by the TINA toolbox, called ND, and then display it and edit it more easily. The example we show, referendum, is simple enough, so we can easily edit it. We provide a more complex example in our paper.
This is also the method we used to generate the figures used in LaTeX. This is using the export to TIGZ provided by Andy. For traceability, again, we provide two options whose effect is to use the names, the identity, of places and transitions in the input colored net in the result. A side effect of Verbo's output is to generate a deterministic predictable model. This is useful, for instance, when we want to compute an order relation between class names. This is the case with tools that use decision diagrams. This is also useful if we want to display the resulting place transition net. Here again, we are using our graphical editor, ND, to display the result of the transformation. We can see that the names of transitions in the original colored net now also appears in the Petri net. Finally, we will look at some of the optimizations that are integrated into the tool. For this, we study another example, a model called SWAP, that is part of the models distributed with LCC. This model is a very particular case where we have a single variable, x, that acts as the identity of a process. By analogy with model checker using symmetry reduction, we could say that the type of x is a scalar set. Our tool can identify this situation and generate a very optimized output. In this example, every process of type resource will only communicate with its left or its right neighbor. So we have a ring topology. We can therefore generate a result in a scripting language for PetriNet called TPN, which is part of the TINA toolbox, to express this behavior in a very condensed way. What we are doing here is to identify a subset of colored nets that can be expressed using only copies of a net relabeling, hiding, parallel composition, and other types of parameterized composition, such as ring or pool. I believe that this could be the subject of a very interesting theoretical study. Our tool contains other optimizations of the sort. Another one, mentioned in our paper, is the computation of invariants directly on the colored net. MCC is a new solution to an old problem. It is also a very unassuming tool that focuses on a single very narrow task. Nonetheless, I believe that it can still be of interest to the community by enriching the PNML ecosystem. Development on MCC started three years ago as a project for studying the suitability of the Go programming language to develop formal verification tools. Our assessment in this regard is very positive. Performances are competitive with regard to C++, with good code productivity and mature software libraries. Also, building executable for multiple platforms and distributing them is easy. Since then, the work has progressed steadily in between each edition of the model checking contest, with a focus on the stability of the tool and on compliance with the PNML standard. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate that you took the time to watch this tool demonstration. Several tools were used in the making of this video. You can see a list of them below. See you soon, in person this time, and please contact us if you want to improve MCC. Goodbye.